want to have a break first. What do you do? You open a Swiggy application, you order it. So order will be placed to nearest restaurant by your mediator Swiggy and order is prepared by them and they deliver the order to you. Delivered. Integration, delivered. Once it is delivered, will you look at your box or the parcel or you open and consume it? Username is admin. Password again, it's the same. All right, I have it one, two, three. So I given common username, common passwords. This is what we do in the real time. We logged into Jenkins. We logged into Sonar Cube. This application is coming all the way from because of the server. If, they, if I stop the server, you'll not be able to log in. Next step, JFrog. Take the public IP, go to security group, port number 8081, 8082 should be enabled from anywhere. 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 by 0 means anywhere from IPvV, IPv4 protocol. Let's go to the browser, paste it, 8081. Username is admin. Password is R caps. Here, red hat at one, two, three. This is my JFrog artifact. Now, what is missing? Target Tomcat server. You are ready with Jenkins. First step, you are ready with the version control system. Code is available here. This code should compile in the Jenkins. And when it is compiling, SonarCube will do a scanning of your code. After that, life cycles will execute. One artifact will be pushed here. Then one artifact will be delivered to target AWS account. Target AWS account in one of the region. There is one of the network. In one of the subnet, the target server is there. Here, artifact will be delivered. The moment you deliver artifact, deployment happens. In a simple terminology, now what is the time now? It's 11.19. You open and consume it, right? The moment you deliver the artifact to the target server, deployment happens. The moment you deliver, you are you are going to consume. You are going to eat that. Similar way, the moment you push this artifact to the target server, deployment happens. New changes will be reflected in the website. That is what you are trying to do it here. So in our case, I'm using the same AWS account for the Tomcat also. But in the real time, your CI/CD environment is different AWS account. Your target environment is different account, different account. Like this, you will have four different accounts: Dev, QA, Acceptance, Prop. CACD account is different. Total six to seven accounts will be there in the real time. So we logged into all the three servers. The fourth server is waiting. So we are going to log into fourth server. So login means through UI. Take the public IP, go to security group. Tomcat is licensed on port number 8080. It is enabled from anywhere or everywhere. We logged into the UI. But in order to access these pages, again, you need lo logins. You cannot directly log into these pages. You have to use username and password. I logged into the server status manager app. Same logins used for these two. Here I provided. I can access this as well. And to this, we need separate credentials. Means again, you need to provide username and password. So we have logged into the Tomcat UI. We logged into the server status. We logged into the uh, deployment page. This is a deployment page. Do you see last time we deployed an application? I'll show you this application is running. So what I will do now, I will delete this deployment. Old changes I will delete, new changes I want to deploy it. So for that, what I should do as a DevOps engineer, I will connect this instance. I'm connecting through browser-based, doing SSH to the remote Linux operating system. Whatever I'm showing, you will learn everything from scratch. So I cannot directly teach you something else. I have to start from zero itself. Mm -hmm.